Today I'm showing you how you can replace blocks with any image you want inside of Minecraft. And now this is actually really simple. It's for Minecraft Java Edition and this will actually work for whatever version you want. So let's get started. Anyways, um, I'm going to turn my desktop back on. So it's not as clean as you guys thought it was anyways um, here I have this little image over here which I um, saved from the internet um, as you can see this is basically it um, I thought it looked kinda cool and what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna turn this into the cobblestone texture um, and basically by doing that I'm gonna show you guys how you can do this you can do this with as much images as you want for as much textures in Minecraft as you want as well so that's pretty cool anyways let's get started right here so the first thing you wanna do is go over to new and then create a new folder and this is something you wanna do quite a few times um, anyways this is just going to be your pack, so I'm just going to call this SM64 is um, maybe better cobblestone. That seems uh, pretty fair, right? Um, and now inside of here, we want to make a few more folders. Yeah, now it's very important that you, you know, actually uh, use the same names as these. If you do not copy this exactly, then it's not actually going to work, sadly. Um, so create a new folder and call it assets, um, spelled A-S-S-E-T-S, -S -E um, just like this. Make sure that the A is also in lowercase, otherwise you'll find out later that the pack's not going to work. Create a new folder and call it Minecraft, once again making sure there are no spelling errors and no capital letters. Then create a new folder called textures, just like this, once again spelled the exact same. And then finally, one last folder called block. Make sure you don't put an S at the end of that, just B L O C K. Yeah, and then you want to enter that, and here we go. Now you can grab whatever textures you want and you can put them in over here. There we are. And now there is still a few things that we need to do to this. So, first off, I recommend opening it with probably Paint 3D. Um, and or just really any other image editor and you want to make sure that it is perfectly square as you can see mine is 1024 by 1024 pixels that is perfect that means that this image has a one-to-one -one aspect ratio and that it is square if it isn't square then it's either gonna get cropped or stretched or it's gonna get some white or black outlines inside of Minecraft and you probably don't want that if you want it to look normal then make sure it's square what you want to do is head over to the description and go to this MC Creator page um, and here um, you want to actually look at this in-game machine name tab when you're on this page and stuff. Um, anyways, you want to go click on Control F because that's the easiest here and then type in whatever the name of the block is you want to change. Um, you'll have to do this multiple times if you have multiple blocks. Anyways, for me it is cobblestone. Um, and as you can see, there are multiple things with cobble. So I'm going to, there we go. We got cobblestone right here. And we want to look at this middle area. And as you can see, the name is C-O-B-B-L-E-S-T-O-N-E. -E. That is pretty simple, right? Now, why this is very important to do is to make sure that your items have the correct names so that Minecraft understands what there are. Um, see, if you want to change the redstone texture, you need to call your file redstone underscore wire. Yeah, so if you just call it redstone or um, redstone underscore dust, it is not going to work. Yes, same with the daylight sensor here, for example. You need to call that a daylight detector. And for the inverted one, it's actually the same. As well as redstone torches, not being redstone torches, but redstone wall torches. Right? So it's different for everything, really. Most of these should be pretty self-explanatory. However, um, just to make sure that you don't make any mistakes, this is an important step. Anyways, for me, it's luckily pretty simple as I only have this cobblestone texture, so I can rename this to cobblestone. There we are, making sure that once again there are no spelling errors and the this lowercase letters and stuff, right? Anyways, now there is one other important thing that we need to do as well. Here, um, when we look under type, we can see that this is a JPG file, and 
we can't actually have that because Minecraft doesn't know what those are. And so to solve this problem, what we want to do is change it. Yeah, and what do you want to change it to? Well, go into rename and then instead of renaming the actual name, remove the .jpg from the end. Um, and now it's very possible that your file is not a JPG, but something else. Um, and basically what you want to do is make sure it is PNG. Yeah, um, so there's a big chance that your file was already PNG. And, you know, if it was like that to begin with, then perfect. You don't need to change anything. If it was anything that is not PNG, you need to do this. Um, and if you click right here, you'll see that if you change a file name extension, the file might actually become unusable. But we actually want to change it here because, as you can see, in our case, we are changing it from one image file type to another image file type, which, you know, will make this still usable. As you can see, we can still perfectly open it. It is still definitely usable for any other blocks that you are, in fact, replacing with images. However, in my case, it's only this one over here, so we're good. Anyways, we want to head back to the very beginning of our entire entire array of folders. Trust me, you do need all those for this to work. If you're missing a folder, it's going to be broken. Um, anyways, you want to go to the area where you can see the assets folder over here so that it looks something just like this. And what you want to do over here is go to new and then text document. Yeah, you want to basically create a new text document. You want to call that pack, P-A-C-K, no capital letters, you know the drill. Um, basically, then you want to open that up. You can use any text editor to open this up, although I don't really recommend stuff like Word. Um, use Notepad, or in my case, I'm using Notepad++, which is free. You can download it from the Microsoft Store or from anywhere online if you wish. Um, as I said, do use any one you want. But, you know, I prefer Notepad++. And they want to paste in this cool stuff right over here. Um, so, basically, you can copy this from down in the description. Um, just, you know, open up the description. And then you'll be able to find this. You can just control C, control V. Make sure that you have everything. So, you might not accident you might accidentally not copy this top curly bracket and if you don't just like with the rest of the stuff over here it's not going to work right because this is basically code right and if it has an error then it's going to be broken um anyways so you need this for the pack to run basically what this does is it tells minecraft like yo this is a pack um so that's pretty cool. Anyways, once you're down in the description, feel free to join my Discord server. It's a pretty cool place. We have more than 1,500 members. Um, you'll feel right at home. It's not like it's active, though, so maybe you can help me change that. Um, anyways, feel free to do that. Now, there is still a few things that we need to change over here. So first off, looking at this pack format right here, that is something that we need to change. And to do that, I will link in the description this Minecraft wiki page for pack format. Hey, I think I've seen that before. Um, anyways, basically, you want to scroll down here a little bit. Um, and now is the time to think a little, right? And what you want to think of is what is the version that I want to make this pack for? Yes, do I want to use it for 1.8.9? Do I want to use it for 1.12.2? Do I use it? Do I want to use it for 1.22? Which is, of course, not out yet. Maybe it is by the time you're watching this video. Anyways, um, basically, you want to find your version in any of these tabs. I want to make mine for 1.20, just only 1.20. Um, and as you can see, the number we need for that is 15. Yeah, say you want to make yours for 1.8.9. Yours is 1, yeah, etc. For any micro version, do that. Anyways, we have 15. Well, we want to relocate this pack format thing over here, and then we want to make sure that that is 15, you know? Make sure that the pack format corresponds with the version you want it for. So once that's done, that's pretty cool. Once again, make sure to not accidentally remove the comma. Uh, you probably know why by now. Then you also have a description over here. This is the standard description. You know, it'd be cool if you subscribed. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, anyways, you can remove this because you probably don't want it as your description. And you can type in um, 
any description, right? Just in between the quotation marks. Don't make it too long. Um, this is going to show up inside of Minecraft. I mean, it's not going to break if it's too long, but you just won't be able to read it all. So um, what we had earlier, this is, well, it's, it's kind of almost the max, I guess. Um, anyways, basically that you can change it if you want to, not a must. Then just control S to save it and you're done. So now you can exit out of that and there's one more really important thing we need to do. That is to rename this and to remove the .txt from the end. And you want to replace it with .mcmeta, .mcmeta. Yeah, now that is basically the file type that Minecraft requires um, for packs like this. Once again, you'll get this pop-up we saw earlier, just click on yes. And you'll know that you've done it correctly if under this type over here, it says MC Meta file. As you can see, for me, it's the case, and that means I've done it perfectly. Anyways, now right before we uh, are actually finished, there's one more optional step you can do, and that is to get yourself a pack icon. Now, here's my pack icon. It is my beautiful, totally made by myself handmade um, channel icon. Wow. You want to do some things with this that we've seen earlier as well. So with your icon, make sure it's called pack p a c k, just like this file we have over here. No caps. Um, and then also what I recommend is just like we saw earlier with the cobblestone texture I made, um, make sure it's square. Otherwise it's going to get either cropped or stretched and it's not going to work. Right, you don't want that. And now we're actually going to do once again the same thing that we saw earlier. If you remember, I said that Minecraft can't read JPG files. Minecraft can only read PNG files because it likes those. And they're also better. Not my opinion, but that's kind of literally the case. Um, anyways, so just if you if it is not a PNG already, then remove the JPG from the end, replace it with PNG. Click, click yes on this pop-up and as you see on the type PNG file and it's still totally usable so that is pretty cool now we are finished and you can click on Control A to select everything or select it all like this you want to right click on it and then compress it into a zip file and now if you do not have that option which you might depending on your OS um, you might need to download a third-party program called either WinRAR or 7-Zip. I'll probably link one of the two in the description if you need it. Um, now, this is a, you can't really get around this step, so, you know, it's, it, it's too bad. Um, anyways, this zip file you have over here now is your pack. So I'm just going to call this ISP64's Better Cobblestone. There we go. Now, the cool thing here is that we can actually use caps for once. So spam the hell out of that shift button. Um, anyways, this right now is the pack. So I can basically drag it to my desktop. You know, I want to keep it somewhere where I can still locate it. And then we can just load up Minecraft. Now when you're loading up Minecraft, I feel like I shouldn't really need to say this. But do make sure that you're loading up the version that you made your pack for. Which in my case is 1.20. Cool, I've opened up the version of Minecraft that I made my pack for. Now you want to just treat this as any other regular texture pack. Go into Options, Resource Packs, and then here you'll find all the resource packs you already have, which for me I suppose is quite a lot. Um, as you can see, all of these are actually made by me, which is pretty cool. So I make a bunch of them. Feel free to check them out. I'll leave a link to my um, page down in the description, I suppose. If you want to check those out, then definitely feel free to do so. Anyways, I can just drag this in right over here. You want to click on yes, because we obviously want it inside of Minecraft. And then we can locate it here. ISP64 is better cobblestone. And here you can see the little bit of a description. As you can see, if I would have made it much longer, then it's not going to all show up, right? Anyways, you want to click on this arrow here. Make sure it's all the way at the top. So not like this, but like this. There you are. And if you've done that then it is going to be perfect. So we can now just load into any world right over here and I'll show you exactly how this works. So we are inside of a world and if you've had a texture pack ever before, then um, you'll know that it works pretty simple. Go into search and get yourself some of that cobblestone. Now because I already enabled it, it's 
going to be pretty cool. So I can place this down over here. And as you can see, I've got this pretty sick looking cobblestone texture right here. Um, there we go. That's pretty cool. And now if I change the cobblestone texture, um, it's also automatically going to change cobblestone stairs, slabs, as well as walls and infested cobblestone because you know they're basically the same texture right they're just different shapes um, so here we have the full array of stuff um, there we go so basically you can see that here this is the stairs made out of cobblestone full cobblestone block cobblestone slab as well as a cobblestone wall right over here um, and now if you think this is cool and if it worked for you then that's great of course remember to subscribe because I taught you how to make this you know show some appreciation and if you do I greatly appreciate it kind of forgot to mention this so here we are but basically some people like to have a reference pack or something like that so if you would like to download the pack I actually made during this tutorial you're free to do so I'll put a me I'll put a media fire link to it down in the description below Anyways, now there are, it isn't possible that there are errors, um, for example, your pack not actually showing up inside of Minecraft once you import it. Now, if this is the case, then I do actually, that it, it's not actually that uncommon, I do have a fixed tutorial for that, which I will link right down in the description below. If you have any further issues or errors or anything like that, then feel free to ask those in the comments, I really try my very best to reply to all of those. Anyways, for right now though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.